my name is Nicole, and today we'll be playing Name This Game from the Atari. So this is a shoot 'em up controlled by joystick, and originally on the Atari, and it is a one to two player game where the two players would be alternating. So for here, I'm playing on an emulator, so I will be using the keypad. And once I hit spacebar to shoot my first um, bullet, it starts the game. So the goal here is to not only shoot the sharks that are coming towards you, but you also have to shoot the octopus tentacles at the top of the screen in order to advance to the next level. So this game was developed by US Games and Vitek in um, The programmers who are involved in this game are called are Roger Booth, Sylvia Day, Robin Dubrin, Wes Trager, and Henry Will the Fourth. So they worked on this project, and the title of this game was actually a contest to see who could come up with the most creative game title in order to win ten thousand dollars. Unfortunately, U.S. Games went bankrupt before that could even happen, so. The contest never finished. So along with playing the levels, as you can see, I shot all the tentacles and now I can move on. So the point system is at the bottom with my health bar being the green bar above it. And then above me, you see there's a fisherman sending his line down below. One thing that confuses me a little bit about playing this game is that when the when the fisherman sends down his line, if I go through it, my points went up, but I also damaged me at the same time. So when I was first playing this, I was like, is it good or is it bad? Am I getting points or am I dying? And it's actually both. You're, it's both helping and hindering you. If you're going for a point value, but you're willing to um, sacrifice some of your health points, then you are able to do that. But if you're not very good at these types of games, shoot 'em ups, then it's better to just keep your life points and do the best you can. So this game reminds me a lot of Space Invaders with the, instead of the aliens coming down, it's the shark coming down, because if he touches you, then you lose a life, or I think in this game it's only one life, so you're just dead. Another game this reminds me of is one of my favorites growing up, which is um, Galica. So, kind of the same concept with like the ships coming at you, moving side to side, except they don't quite directly come right after you in a zigzag fashion. Um, the octopus tentacles, I guess, in a way, are slowly coming towards you. Um, I have not seen what happens. If the tentacles can come all the way to the player, I have not seen it, so I'm going to assume no for right now. Um, ooh, almost died there. Yeah, so I find that really enjoyable about this game is that there are short-term and long-term goals involved, which is short-term being you got to kill the sharks so that you could stay alive, but long-term you have this big octopus that you need to kill and get rid of all of its ten all eight of its tentacles in order to advance. What I don't like about this is something pretty common um, for this time period is that there is little to no explanation of what I'm supposed to do, but it is very basic, so common sense being move side to side and move left and right and shoot what's coming at you. It took me a few plays to realize that I needed to shoot the octopus tentacles before, um, because that was before I finished like the, the game because I couldn't keep going. I just kept shooting the sharks, and I was like, "Okay, what's going on now?" But you gotta shoot the tentacles in order to get the victory noise to play and whatnot. So as you can see, I have little 3,500 points, and I'm going to see if I can get... Oh, okay. Well, cool. Oh, 
I finished! I won the game! Yay! I don't know exactly what I did. I guess there's only a couple levels of the game I was wondering. Alright, well, I guess that's it. So this is Name This Game by US Games, and I'm Nicole. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.